one of the things that she did after that. One thing we do want to let you guys know is that 10 days, like all she does is not a pet. Nobody wants to take 10 day home as a pet, right? We want everybody to shake their head though. Yeah. He looks cute and cuddly, but he is a wild animal. So we don't want anybody to go home thinking that you want a cheetah or another large exotic animal at home as a pet. Unfortunately for cheetahs, they are often kept as pets, uh, especially in the Middle East. They're seen as a status symbol there, like any four-year-old. You like to chew on things. Um, so they are often kept as pets in the Middle East, and they often don't even live to be two years old uh, because it takes a lot of resources to take care of an animal like a cheetah. Good job, Tiffany. All right, uh, and we have those resources here at the park. We have a team of five veterinarians. We have our own animal hospital. And they even have their own nutrition here at the park. So I know I don't have all of those things at all. But those are just some of the resources needed to take care of an animal like a cheetah. So definitely not pets. We have a similar problem here in the state. Lots of lions and tigers at home in private ownership and in roadside zoos. Unfortunately, it's legal in a lot of states to have something like a lion or a tiger at home. But just because it's legal doesn't necessarily mean it's a good idea. But after meeting 10 day, everybody wants to go home and save cheetahs now, right? Yeah, there you go. That's what we want. Um, so you coming here to the park today are actually helping cheetahs out in Africa. So definitely some cool stuff. Uh, for sure. How many of you knew that you were protecting cheetahs in Africa? Yeah, you'll be cute for the talk today? in Rio before you miss a lot the of people don't, yeah. The way that happens is, um, actually, yeah. Um, the way that happens is we actually have a conservation fund called the Sea World Bush Gardens Conservation Fund. And we support programs all over the world with lots of different threatened and endangered species. And cheetahs are one of those. And that conservation fund is supported through all of our parks. So whether you're visiting us here at Bush Gardens or you're visiting one of our school parks or maybe swimming with the Dolphin Discovery Cove, all of, uh, some of those proceeds from all of those parks do go to conservation funds. So really you are helping cheetahs out in Africa. So thank you for visiting us today. Tenny has been doing a really good job. This is actually the first time we've been out here in a little while, so he's pretty excited. We're going to keep it short and sweet, make sure that we always um, go home while he's still having fun out here. But before we do that, do you guys have any questions about Tenny or anything that I mentioned? No? I did a really good job? Everybody knows everything they want to know about cheetahs, right? You have a question? Do all cheetahs have black spots? Do all cheetahs have black spots? Yep, pretty much all cheetahs do. Yeah, there are king cheetahs, which are a little bit different. They have spots too, but they their spots are really close together, so it almost looks like a stripe going up there. I don't know what you have. Um, his name is Tendi. Um, we are doing lots of fun things back behind the scenes and out on the habitat with Tende and the other cheetahs today. Um, sometimes we'll make some enrichment items and things like that out on the exhibit, but I'll tell you, cheetahs are not really uh, big on toys. We give them toys and things to play with, but they're more enriched by uh, moving around, learning different things, doing different things. Um, that seems to be what's most enriching for a cheetah. You can give a tiger a big box or something like that, big oh, ball, and they're usually going to beat it up pretty bad, tear it apart. <laughs> cheetahs most often uh, are more into learning and doing things like this, so this is kind of a good thing. Anyway, we're going to go ahead back to the scene. If you guys do have any other questions, though, Alyssa's going to hang out here for a few more moments. Uh, she can also answer questions that you guys might have. If you think of something a little bit later on, can come by at 11.30 no and or 3 o'clock to see a cheetah run and we can answer that questions so at cool. those times as well. So, if you guys do have questions, again, Alyssa's standing right here. She'll be here for a few more moments. Hopefully, we'll see you at 11.30, How old is 3 o'clock. He's four today. Oh, today's Today? 